when can we start making any kind of comparison with Anthony Edwards to Michael Jordan? Oh, in five to ten years. Oh, I can't do anything now of starting no. his career and Mike starting his career? Well, Mike, Mike averaged, people forget, he averaged 38 a game back in back when you could really knock the hell out of people. He averaged 38 points a game. People forget that. And then, you know, uh, Anthony, who I love, I love. He don't he don't have to go through the bad boy pistol where they just beat the hell out of you <laughs> three or four years in a row. I love Anthony Edwards. I love his mentality. I love one of the best things I've seen on television this year was when he was with Scott Van Pelt, and he says, I'm just going to kill everything in front of me. How would you describe your, your mentality and how it's evolving, Anthony? Uh, I just want to kill everything in front of me, man. That's the main thing, um, uh, pretty much. That's all it is to it. I haven't seen but two players in my NBA career that said that, and that's Michael and Kobe. They didn't care about anybody. They didn't want any friends. They didn't want any frenemies. They just want to kill everything in front of them. I love Anthony Edwards. He's my favorite player in the NBA now. This is great. It's just like if we had a basketball child together, it would be Anthony Edwards and just watching him blossom. I just feel like I'm watching our kid go through high school and get a 4-0 senior year and letter jackets and win the state championship. This is just really special. This is the first time I really felt like this guy might be the guy like a year, two years from now in the league, like in, in a real way, like final level face of the league, best guy in the league. In order to become a true household name, do you have to knock off the champs? Maybe to have it happen right now? Maybe. Mm -hmm. But this just feels, he feels inevitable to me. This, this dude's, whether it's next year, I, I saw Simmons and Rosillo talking about it, like face of the league stuff. Is that in his future? It feels like it absolutely could be. It feels like it's ahead of schedule. And yeah. like a concerned parent, because I get it, I still get it. <laughs> I was afraid for him in a way. Like I was afraid. I go, what if everybody loads up defensively on him and no one else is scoring and Conley or McDaniels can't get anything going on and Rudy's not an option and you know who knows what to expect with Cat? I was like, it's not going to be his fault. It's not going to be his fault. And the beauty of this team through this series, at least, was we know the defense was going to travel for every game, but there was these little pockets where, I don't know Conley was bad tonight, but Conley got Grayson Allen for like a half straight, you know? Towns, when you looked at his numbers tonight, you're like, wow, he scored a ton. McDaniels had a huge night in there. Alexander Walker seems to hit all sorts of shots. If you leave Rudy, oh, you know, look, we know he's not on offensive threat. The point of this is, is then Ant would just say, okay, you know what, though? You know what? Thank you to everyone. Thanks for the help. But this quarter... Is mine. The point yeah. being, he's a 22 year old. Point is, he's a monster who, it, like, has zero fear of the bright lights, soaks them up. This series, a complete humiliation of the Phoenix Suns and a, a coronation. A, and a coronation, yes, evidence that, hey, the Timberwolves are for real. I watched a press conference after the game where he's sitting there. He and Carly Towns are up there together. And he just kept going to, to Carl and being like, yeah, I told you to stop fucking fouling. And you finally stopped fucking fouling. And there we go. Like, he's 22. And 22. he's telling the former number one <laughs> overall pick, who was definitely the star of this team when Ant came through, hey, you over there, stop fucking fouling. And guess what? Cat, to his respected. credit, has completely accepted and respected it. And I think that's an underrated story, too, because that's not easy if you're Carl Anthony Towns. Carl, it felt like, I don't know, the, this series for you was kind of like a boxing match, right? Where you had to kind of like mm -hmm. pick your spots yeah. and, and you kind of got to let loose today in this yeah. one. What was that kind of whole process of being like, initially, I got to first couple games kind of like hold back, pick my spots and then let it open up tonight? I mean, again... Let me just say, tonight he wasn't in foul trouble. Like the first three games, the motherfucker just kept fouling. And tonight, I told him, what did I tell you last game? He said, yo, we can you gonna... find a way not to foul him? I said, I'm going to try. Like every, if you watch the game, every time in the third quarter when we would grow elite, it's because he's in the game. Because they don't have a matchup for him. I'm like, Cat, we're not going to win game four if you foul. I told him yesterday, we're not going to win game four if you keep fouling. You keep fouling. And you see what he did in the third quarter. You see what he did in the fourth quarter. Like, 
He's like he he's like I always tell you, he's the best offensive player on the team. Like if he's not in foul trouble, it's a problem for any team that got a guard is because he can stretch the floor, he can post, he can play off the catch, he's he can pass. I mean like, he can do everything. So we just gotta keep him from getting getting in foul trouble, man. He's gonna be great every night. He led this team to a sweep. He's a star. He's one of the faces of the league. His energy, his charisma, his personality, everything was on display in this series. And I think it's bigger than just being, you know, the best two guard in the league. He's one of the biggest stars in our league. See, this Wolves Denver series, it can't be more exciting. You saw what the Wolves did in the first round, dispatching Phoenix and and just the killer mentality that Anthony Edwards displayed when they needed it. Uh, that guy is electric. Anybody, if you watched NBA at all for the last 40 years, you're going to blur your eyes and, and rub your glasses and think at times you're watching the second coming or third coming of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant when you watch Anthony Edwards. That's fantastic. And you have him putting his powers up against a true team that if you've been watching the basketball, basketball the last 40 years and seen teams like the San Antonio Spurs and you appreciate their style of basketball, you're going to get some of that too with the Nuggets. Ant hit a 28-footer with 534 left to make the score 105-101 Minnesota. And it was a bomb. And that was the official Ant alert. It was like, uh-oh, here we go. And then he just kept making shots. He basically turned Beal into a summer meme. It will not be an easy series for the Denver Nuggets next round. But there were two iconic moments in this series, booking, bookending the series. Ant smiling and talking trash after hitting a ridiculously tough three in Katie's face in the opener and Ant blowing by $50 million Bradley Beal and throwing down a dagger dunk in the finale. Well, since you said uh, that, he was 17 of 31 in the series for 51 points when Bradley Beal was his primary defender. The leadership, I don't even think that gets talked about enough. And it's the fact that this kid is 22 years old doing all of these things. He he outplayed his one of his idols growing up, which is a story within itself. I'm so impressed with Ant. So impressed with Ant. Um, my favorite player to watch. Just grown so much since he came into the league at 22. Just his love for the game just shines bright, and that's something that's probably that's one of the reasons why I like him the most because he just loves basketball. He's grateful to be in this position. He's taking advantage of every opportunity he's gotten. Um, love everything about Ant. Everything and um, be watching them going forward. And, um, you know, you know, he's going to go out there and play extremely hard every single night, but was really impressed with him. Um, and it's going to be somebody I'm following for the rest of his career. Anthony Edwards is so electric. And I sounded a little like jingoistic on TV yesterday, but I'm, you know, sorry, not sorry. There is a lot when I know it's become very in vogue to bleep on American-born NBA players like, oh, all the MVPs are foreign-born guys. They have more skill over there. They're taught the game better. There has never been... Like, Anthony Edwards is a vintage American NBA player, and I love it. Now, he's a huge Timberwolves fan, so he's just texting me. We have this alert code for Ant, and... It's probably like in the beginning of the Golden State thing. We're like, do you see what's happening tonight? Like, have you paid attention? Where everybody who's just a league pass junkie, like, this is what it's supposed to be like. But we're so hard on the superstars because we kind of want it to happen all the time. Like, Ant's yeah. first half. You know, like, oh, what's going on with him? What's good? But with him, I'm like, whatever. It doesn't matter. Team USA this summer, we're going to see him just eat, eat <laughs> against those international players. Anthony Edwards is going to shit talk you like Lucas got that too. Block you at the rim, dunk on your yeah. head. I, I, you, I know you, Luca annoys you. I know he does. Um, <laughs> dunk on your face. I just love him. And he's, Demonze, he's 22 years old. Anthony, I think before that series, when people were trying to call you a young star, you said you don't want to hear that until you win in the playoffs. Are you able to give yourself a little bit of more grace now um, in uh, that regard? I mean... Nah, not yet, man. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. 
He a young star. He over here talking like that shit. <laughs> he the face of the league. I've been saying that. He hate when I say it, but it's true. Like I said, future's so bright, I gotta put the sunglasses on most of the no, time when I'm walking no, around with him. No, it ain't. <laughs>